Hey, I'm live. According to YouTube. Hello, welcome. The stream's gonna be starting very soon. I just gotta make sure I got everything here that I need to have here, and we will really, really get going. So give me un momento, por favor. And in the meantime, boy, stack of comic books. Very stack of rhythmic. And the Space Church music. dude hey yeah i totally got a package it's not the one you thought it was but i do have a package it's from mori all right we can get this party started i'm done with my sushi so let's see where's the mori package probably start with that one here it is oh boy i'm gonna dox myself if i show the front side of this but it's a box. Look at that. It's amazing. box -erific. It's... Oh, my. That's a... That's a little TMI, dude. That is a little TMI. I'm not gonna lie, but... You know, I, I guess you gotta... Just gotta do... There we go. One side down. Tape did Mori put on this thing? Good lord. Scissors are like, I can't handle the tape. I've been making a separate video for this, but then I was like, ah, you know what? I'm going to be doing a stream anyway. I might as well put here. So I can't show this next part at all. Where? Yeah, because I got to cut. You actually uh, put the label on the side right here. So I got to totally, totally not uh, show any of this. I'm afraid I've already shown something. I'm going to have to go back to the stream and maybe cut that out and re-upload it. Oh, my God. How much tape did you put on this, bro? Well, you know, I'm not judging. This is a judging, judgment-free stream. At least in public. Later on, I'll be talking to one of my homies, and I'll be like, Oh, let me tell you about this Brian Ball guy. Not only is he the whitest man in comics, but, uh, you know, there, there's, there's pants involved. Dude, there's like 15 labels stacked up on this thing. How many times has this Gemini been recycled? There we go. <laughs> well, I'm getting banned off of YouTube now. All right, as is typical for Mori, he uh, very fancy painter tape because it's not particularly sticky. Oh God, maybe he wrote a note or something. I better look just in case there's a comic books falling everywhere. Slick. Aw, oh, way, way to go, X-Men. Way to go, buddy. Trade by my X-Men comics. Isn't that how it is? You never trust those X-Men. Half the time they're villains, half the time they're heroes. You never know which is which. Alright, just get over there, books. Just... Whatever. Aw, oh, it's a ninja weasel. Just make sure Mori did not put a note in here that's gonna dox us is no note in here. Thank goodness. There's also nothing but the book. Uh oh. Let's throw that Gemini on the... I have a pile of Gemini mailers on the floor. Oh my god, Mori. Alright, so we've got... tape everywhere. I'm afraid to put the tape near the books, because then it'll get all sticked up. Yeah, there it is. But what do you think, Ninja Weasel? What do you think? Oh man, I still got some of the little pickled ginger from my sushi. Hold on. Of course, I say sushi, what I really mean is California roll. I am weak. And I don't actually like raw fish. Oh, uh, Brian, if you contact uh, Mori on Twitter, then you might be able to get one. Let me uh, go look him up, and I'll link his uh, Twitter here in the chat, and you can uh, 
go over there and uh, send him a message. Send him a DM. I'm sure he'll love that. Since we've got a lot of chat here, I'm going to go ahead and put the frame around all this so that the chat's visible and stuff. Man, I did all that opening it up. I didn't even explain what this is. Okay, so Rags is a comic book, which is about post-traumatic stress disorder, about being vulnerable, about bad choices, and how to recover. Oh, look at this. Look, he signed it, just like I asked. Ah, oh, this cover specifically made for a streamer named Morikiopa on Twitch, the big Rags booster, and uh, his thing is... Oh, why I still have a Mori sticker in here. Uh, it's definitely a... Oh, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get to the contents of the book. Uh, I can't really show them. But I can sure talk about it. No, I didn't stick a Mori sticker in my notebook? That's weird. He sent me a couple. I thought I stuck one here in my notebook. I guess not. Okay, well, moving on. So it's a comic that's like, uh, you, you know your favorite movie? Where uh, somebody orders pizza, and the pizza man shows up, and the lady has no money. Like, it's that movie. Like, it's that plot. That, that's what this... Ah, uh, let's see. Huh. Like that. That's a hoot. This is also a very nice, uh... Mylar that he shipped to me in. Pretty dope. two are very silly people. Now, painter's tape is out of the way. Uh, I don't even remember which issue this cover goes for. Oh, good, it's one I can actually show. Let's see. Let's see if I can find some pizza in here. Nope, I can't find any pizza, but I can find some very nice-looking art. Uh, Luigi is the master of carrying emotions. Look at all the different faces the operator goes through here. Luigi is an absolute mad lad when it comes to facial expression. He may not always be exactly like perfect when it comes to anatomy and stuff, but he's so good at getting the expressiveness of everything across that uh, it's pretty crazy. Absolutely pretty crazy. You know, I think I've um I think I've had this same discussion, like on his side going on on this page. What happens when they have to have money? Oh, yeah, they take it out and trade. Uh, you know, coupons. Uh, sometimes they barter some uh, services of a specific type. Anyway, this is super cool. It's, uh... It's, it's different uh, stock than normal. I thought this was the same printer. Hold on, do I have another rags issue handy? Neilis is stream sniping. Oh no! Oh, narrows! Actually, if you were, you'd be shooting me from where you're at. I have another issue of rags here that was a Patreon issue. I got this gigantic pile of a hundred something comic books just sitting on my desk. All right, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. What I'm looking through right now, because I would swear I had a Patreon issue I hadn't put away yet. I just want to look at the cover, because I feel like the cover is different. Maybe I don't. I sure can't find one. I found my Onyx variant, though. Definitely can't show that one on stream. Oh, which, uh, Mori is the one that sent that to me, if I remember. He was like, give me ten bucks and it's yours, and then, like, ten bucks. He sent it to me. That was nice. Mori's a cool guy. He sends me a lot of things now. Starting to wonder. No, that's issue 5 AP version. I guess I don't have another Patreon version handy. Oh, uh, the Onyx variant. Let, here, let me get it out for you. I'll, I can show that. I can show you what it's in. But some of us have uh, very fancy bags that are like that. So, there, there's the Onyx variant for you, buddy. Right there. <laughs> One of my uh, local shops sold me a 
Ah, uh, the, the black thing is the bag. Hold on, you want to see more of those? I got a I got a bag full of bags over here somewhere with them. Yeah, I've just got a whole bunch of bags. These, that's just how the bag is. It's to cover up the thing I can't show you on stream, you troll. Okay. Uh, it's effectively a sensor bar built right into the bag. My shopman, uh, he sold me those for seven or eight cents a bag, I think. It's pretty cheap. Because I bought, um... Uh, oh, it was, an, it was unnatural. I bought some cover of unnatural that came in a bag like that. And I was like, yo, bro, you got another one of these? But anyway, the thing that's weird about this book, the spine feels real thick. If you, at the touch, it almost feels square bound, but it's staple bound. I don't remember any of the other Patreon books feeling like that. Uh, maybe there's like a couple extra pages in here. Something? Yeah, that might be it because we got uh, the awesome ad matter in the back. I love that. Did I ever get my Sporkman books? I have no idea. I backed that like three times where they finally had a successful campaign. Want to know more? Be sure to check out all these URLs. Uh, if you just happen to God, I love that face. Look at that face, like, psh, whatever. Ah, oh, that's awesome. It's a great book. I'm pretty sure I already did a review of this thing, so if you want to see more, go check that out. Is it really? Okay, I'll take your word for it, man. It just doesn't uh, quite feel that way. Or maybe mine is folded funny or something. That's what it is. Who knows? Oh, dude. <laughs> You know, with the stuff in the front, I didn't even notice the stuff in the back. That's awesome. That really is. Uh, so, Mori, dude, thank you very much for this. Uh, Brian, thank you very much for making it happen. Oh, there's... Dude, Mori sent me a bag. It's got, like, a dead bug in it or something. Look at this. Look at that. Mori, dude, don't be sending me bugs from California or New Mexico or... Canada, wherever it is you live. Oh! I think this is... It is. This is like one of the mythical halfback. No, I think it's a fullback. This is nicer than the boards I use. She sent this, like, full archiving. It's crazy. Hey, Eli Easy, the game hunter. Welcome to the stream. You were just, uh, unboxing my, uh, Rag Comics, which is signed by Mad Mori, the guy who's all over the cover. You might see his logo right there. Pretty cool. But uh, I am gonna put this back in this very nice mylar he shipped it in. And, uh, that way, you know, I don't accidentally like strip the book in half or something. Because this mylar is actually pretty tough stuff. I don't, I don't know. It's way tougher than a normal comic bag, which is made out of uh, poly. All right. I gotta get over here and take a look at the chat, because I see stuff happening, which usually doesn't happen in my chat, so I'm like, oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh! Oh man, you gotta love a scoped shotgun. Like, how else are you gonna snipe with your shotgun? Come on, dude. What up? Cover. It's also on the pizza box. Yeah, I saw it on the pizza box. And hello, wows. Leaves from his cat. You know, he's got like 15 kittens now or something, doesn't he? Like... Mori's house has been overrun with felines. I didn't get this last week. Uh, I got it this week. I kind of forgot it came out last week. It was supposed to be on my pull list. And it wasn't. And uh, my shop man says this one is actually okay. Unlike all the other ones. So, I'm hoping he's right. And, uh... But you know what? I think, uh... John Romita Jr.'s art is actually better in this issue. It's already got that going for it. The other issues is kind of lackluster. Can't you get somebody other than Frank Miller to do the cover? Seriously, I've read Xerxes, man. I put up with his crazy the Sharpie art there. Uh. Yeah. It's uh, two Supermen and Batman. It's kind of weird. It must be like a multiple world story, like Crisis on Two Earths or something. I know what you mean, though, dude. And 
Right, that sniper shotgun joke was in. Oh, dude, did, wasn't that just something Remora like made a meme out of? Like, I showed him like the tactical crowbar or something, and he started the sniper shotgun. Like, I'm pretty sure it's him that was the genesis of that, dude. I'm pretty sure it had something to do with him. Maybe it was uh. Trevor just finished. Her. Yes, yes. Wonder Woman does not look like a woman. Um. Oh, maybe it was like something to do with uh, System Shock 2, dude. Because wasn't he one of the people we roped into like that four player game? Wasn't it like him, Sarago, you and me? Or was it like one of the twins? I don't remember. That was like 20 years ago, bro. That was like 20 years ago. It was in Hamachi of all things. Having to go in and edit my uh, CPU stuff. That that stupid game would run on a modern computer with more than one core. Uh, let's get the boring stuff out of the way, and in this case, the boring stuff is uh, stuff out of the 50 cent bin, which actually isn't too boring. I mean, sure, it's a crummy issue of Harbinger, but I also got Harbinger 1 and 2, which are worth nothing, but I have them, so that's something. Now I've got, like, issues 1, 2, 8, and a bunch of, like, stuff in the 20s, so... My, uh, expanding old-school Valiant collection keeps expanding. I'm gonna need another box pretty soon. Let's see. Well, let's tease that and then let's put it aside where you can really look at it. There's one book in here that I know is going to be absolute garbage. And it's that one. I am going to love mocking this thing. I am going to love mocking this thing. So far, the previous three issues contain stuff that could have happened in four pages of an actual real comic book. So I'm figuring this one might get us to page six. And by the end of the mini-series here, which should be like issue 5 or something, should make it to an 8-page short story spread across like 5 comic book issues costing like 30 bucks. So this series has definitely got it going on. This is so terrible. Oh, hold on! We actually have some cool stuff happening in this one! Wow! Something actually happened in Aliens Rescue! I still don't know why it's actually called Aliens Rescue, because they're not rescuing anybody. Like, I thought it was going to be about, uh, like, somebody rescuing the uh, Ripley kid and whatever her name is. But no, they were fine. Like, they actually recruited the Marine guy that they rescued in the previous one. Maybe he's the rescue, and that's what it's about. It's like rescuing a dog. Except the dog is packing dynamite and a sniper rifle because he's a colonial Marine. I don't know. We'll find out when I go to mock it later. Nope, they're, they're not... There's nothing nearly that cool. That would be a funny book, though. I gotta admit. Now they're just, um... They're just running around doing nothing for an entire book. And of course, you know me. I got these uh, X-Men True Believer books. One dollar reprints. This looks like it's from X-Factor. Might be when they actually first encounter Apocalypse. It'd be kind of cool. I think the, uh, one from last week where they, uh, that was titled, like, Richter. Like, the first appearance of Apocalypse as something other than a shadow. And, um... Not quite sure what's going to be in this one. I don't remember this issue of X-Men. Uh, boy, I love the way the X-Men were drawn in the 90s. Everybody Jack and Jim Lee style. I mean, why wouldn't you just, like, steal from the best, right? Pretty good looking stuff. I'm going to love reading that. I already know it. Because that is totally my ear of X-Men. What else I got? It's all stuff I know I'm really going to like, or at least I suspect I'm really going to like. Crime stories. Criminal has been great. Now, the art maybe isn't, like, great, but it's very moody. And this story depends heavily upon the mood. Every little panel is like this moody little painting that just kind of drags you down. You read uh, any of these issues, and before you know it, you're, like, kind of just feeling like, I gotta go take a bath because I've been wallowing in grime. Look, this is like Jack and Arcade Machines or something. I don't even know what's going on in this book anymore, man. You got, like, the dude, and he's picked up this chick, and then they beat up this detective that was looking for the chick. Then his son, like, hates the chick, but then she, like, helped him cover up a murder. Like, this whole thing is just spiraling out of control. And that's not even counting, like, if you go back to, like, issue three, it was, like, Jack and some comic book artist for pages. Like, it's nuts. This whole series is insane. 
And I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, the writing. Always super tense. There's not a spare panel. That's one thing I like about Criminal a lot. Like, I was just making fun of... Get it. Aliens Rescue because nothing happens. Uh, in the previous three issues, there's just page after page of wasted space. This one actually looks like there's stuff happening. But I don't have a whole lot to mock just looking at it. If you go back to my reviews of the previous issues, nothing happened. Like, half the book would go by, and all they did is get on a helicopter. Then look down. That was it. That was half of the book. Nothing happened. And the stuff they were talking about, the dialogue is all like vacuous and complete throwaway material. Here, everything is important. Like the stuff in the background, the poses, the coloring sits like is important. Like this is like obviously like dawn, the sun's coming up. Over here it's nighttime. It's got this weird, weird kind of haphazard coloring. It just makes everything look gritty and grimy. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous and terrible, and I love it. I've liked every issue of Criminal I've read so far, and it's definitely taken this awesome, like, turn upwards in awesomeness. Yeah. An awesome turn into awesomeness. You heard it here. We got yet another weird deceased variant cover. I don't know why they're doing these C books. Over. Are they smooth criminals? No, no. Uh, there, there is nothing smooth about Teague, his son, or any of the people they run with. They are always just getting themselves in stupid trouble. I don't understand it. This is not a deceased book. Why is it a deceased variant cover? And even looking at this, what about this makes it a deceased variant cover? I mean, they don't even really look like zombies. That could be the Solomon Grundy from the story back here. There's nothing deceased about this. I don't understand this this thing. Like, this is the weirdest cross promo. Dude! <laughs> I love this book! De Discontinued! I like it. And DC's got a couple of good books going on. This is one of them. Curse of the White Knight's another one. Uh, I've been loving Justice League Odyssey. I like the first couple issues because of the Stepan Cedric art. Uh, but the writing wasn't so good, and now it's being written by Dan Abnett. I just wish the art was better. Look at freaking Man Bat right here. He got cursed by, um, what's this dude's name? Clarion the Witch Boy. And told to, like, he was compelled to go make himself scarier. And now freaking Man Bat has done that to himself. What the heck, dude? And it's up to a kid. I got turned into a vase, and Detective Chimp stopped that. Good luck, guys. Good luck. This is going to end badly. Everybody in freaking involved. Woohoo! Oh, I'm already liking this. Dude, they're going to wreck the dude's bar. <laughs> yeah, in fact, he made a Molotov cocktail. Detective Chimp is going to burn his own bar down to kill Man Bat. Okay. I'm sold. And then there's Constantine just walking in and smoking a cigarette. Go, John Constantine. Jerk. I'm going to get a hoot out of this book. I can already tell. I just don't understand the covers. You got your money on Detective Chimp? You're probably right. Like, at this point in the series, Detective Chimp, he's got the... What's that dude's name? Nightmaster. He's got Nightmaster's magical sword. But the world that the magical sword goes with has been destroyed by the Lords of Order. So he's already lost the people he's supposed to protect. He lost his friend, the Blue Devil. I forget if the Blue Devil is taken out by the Lords of Order or if he got uh, by the Upside Down Man. But everything's just getting worse and worse in the DC Universe. Like, the stuff actually going on in this book is scarier than the stuff going on in the main Justice League book, where it's just like, Luthor is uncovering crazy new power. It's like, whatever, nobody cares. This stuff is the universe is being eaten alive. And it's awesome. Anything else I want to show in this? Nah, I don't want to spoil it for myself. I don't want to spoil it for myself. Let me just put that up here. But Detective Chimp Man, he's lost everything. He's got nothing to lose. He is crazy. Well, arson goes a long way. Absolutely, Ninja Weasel. Absolutely. Batman, Curse of the White Knight, book four. 
Uh, Brian Ball already made fun of her trigger discipline. These books have always had this, like, a glossy kind of thing going on. Oh, I don't want to listen to another version of the Endless. Come on, Endless Space soundtrack. You've got, like, four, like, four versions of the stupid song on here. I hear all the time. Yeah, B matter. That's better. Ah. Uh, getting caught by my auto mod, Brian. Now, for such a white boy, you, you, you probably shouldn't swear so much, you know? You're going to lose your street cred as the whitest man in comics if you keep that up. Yeah, this is the cover my shot man put in. That girl's looking pretty good there. Uh, things in this miniseries are just also absolutely nuts because Asriel just burned down Wayne Mansion. And uh, everybody knows who Batman is. It, well, maybe not everybody, but the uh, Bullock and the rest of the cops in that particular unit know that Bruce Wayne is Batman. Uh, this is right after Barbara Gordon got outed as Batgirl because uh, the people backing Asriel made that happen. Oh, man, look at old man Azra. He's got, like, cancer or something, man. He's not doing so good. He's got some goons. There's machine gun fire, kung fu action, bat fu, sword fu, gun fu, apparently thok fu. I'm not quite sure what that one is, but we got some of that going on, too. Azrael looking mad dope right there. Got that crazy flaming sword, crazy wing-looking thing going on because he's a crusader, dude. It is absolute madness, and I don't want to look at this anymore, because if I do, I'm going to start paying attention to what's on the panels, and I'm going to ruin the book for myself, and I don't want to do that. See, that's one of the problems when I'm looking at stuff I like, is I don't want to ruin it for myself until I've had a chance to read it, and I'm trying to show you stuff without absorbing it mentally into my own skull. Hey, Maury. You, you totally did miss. You totally did miss the fun stuff, you know? Oh, he hit the rewind button! Oh, I'm glad I have the rewind functionality turned on. Because I could, like, turn that off. In fact, I probably should for ultra-low latency. But, uh, don't care. Because that ultra-low latency used to not support uh, the DVR functionality. Finally. Finally. Saved the best. Maybe the best. Eh. Yeah. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff this week I like. We got There's League Dark, Criminal, Batman White Knight. Uh, I know I'm going to like all of those a lot. So that's, we got five things that are all like, oh, this is going to be so dope. Which one is the dopest? I don't know. But uh, this cover sure has a character, actually two characters that look very familiar who aren't in the book. Actually three, because there's also uh, USAGI down here. His name is so punny and wonderful. It's a great cover. It costs ten freaking bucks. <laughs> I'm not sure where the book came from. Well, listen, the dude on the right, yeah. Yeah, what about the dude on the right? He's just some dude, right? He's like, like a random soldier guy. No way! I'm not quite sure how to react to that, because I'm trying to re fake a reaction to something I already knew. Man, more variants the same. Oh, you know what? I don't think I took my uh, bleak mic variant out of the bag it was in. Yeah, I, I, I either knew or suspected, but it's really cool. This is a dope cover. I like this piece of art before it became a cover. Uh, I'm kind of surprised to actually see it show up here, because... You know, if there were to be a crossover thing, you would think that uh, you would save something like that for the that. Oh, dude. I don't even know what's going on here, but that's pretty cool looking. I have magic blood? Oh! Oh, I like magic blood. I'm trying to remember what happened in the last issue. Was that the one where they beat up the, like, girl that was from another world or something and then, like, kicked her back home? Was that the last issue? I don't even remember anymore. Feels like it's been months. Well then, let me take my cocaine somewhere else. Rags bar, the second cup. Hold on. Oh my god. Are you telling me I paid 10? If I can get the glare to show up. Crinked. I paid 10 bucks for a cream comic. I didn't do that. 
This was like stuck in the middle between other books. Ah, dang it. Freaking comic stores. This one's scuffed. I don't know if that comes through. But it's totally scuffed. Freaking diamond. Diamond. Ship your stuff. Oh, you can't really see the scuffing. You can see it a little bit. Right there. Totally scuffed. What happens on a rag book? Just below her foot. Get this out of here. Oh, uh, yeah. I see it. That's pretty cool. You guys put so many nice little touches in these art and these pieces of art, man. It's very consistent. Um, Tim Lim does it. Matt Weldon does it. Luigi does it. Uh, so whether it's the artists or the writers saying, hey, put this little fun thing in and put this little fun thing in, these books are all full of great Easter eggs, and it's a lot of fun. Ah, uh, well... Kind of bummed out, but I guess I'm not too bummed out because I'm still here streaming and not crying in the corner. You know, I should have uh, should brought one of my stevia packets up here. I could lay out like a line of white powder, it would look just like something else, and uh, you know, just to celebrate, I'll, I'll do it right off the cover. But uh, I don't think I have any of the powdered stuff here. I think that's all at work. It's like Marvel or DC. We care about our work. What about Antarctic Press? What about them? Or what about Diamond for, for freaking frack? Why on earth? Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. Why doesn't Diamond ship books in bags? Like, as soon as I buy a comic, I throw it in a bag. You know what this costs me? It's like 15 cents. Now, I understand that that will take away from Diamond's margin. Seriously, just do it. Yeah, I know that that AP uses a Chinese printer. I thought DC printed at a Canadian company. I don't care about graded. They they don't. I don't care about graded. I just want my books to be beat up when I get them. Seriously, if I'd seen this, there wasn't another one of these on the shelf, because I'm the only one who was stupid enough to order a $10 comic. There was another one, there was like two of these left. At the end of the day, I totally could have just got one that wasn't scuffed if I'd seen it. Uh, you can automate the bagging. Like, you, if you can make a machine that picks a tomato without destroying it, you can make a machine that bags comic books. Uh, oh well. I'm not actually that mad. But I am regretting my choice of a Dr. Pepper to drink while I was on stream. I should have done my usual thing and got a Pepsi. Or Coke. Or anything other than a Dr. Pepper. This was, this was a mistake. This was a bigger mistake than these comic books. Getting a damaged one. Life... Life is pain. I'm gonna get all this stuff back out here. Let's see if we can lay this out in such a way that we can get a cool visual out. Let's put the two Supermen over here. Plus Batman. Superman and Stephanie uh, Trevor rags, like here in the middle at some point. We're just going to pile comic books up. What the stuff I don't care about on the bottom of the pile over here. Okay, have fun over there. We'll put like that there, and like this here. That. Got no room for punchline. It looks like uh, Superman's getting covered up. What a shame. Bye, Superman. Stephanie Trevor. Then we'll just like cover everything up with the bomb. There we go. Nobody's getting out of here alive. Nobody's getting out of here alive. Andrew Dry is doing a run of ginger ale and lemonade that is freaking amazing. I don't know, man. I don't know. That that sounds unusual. Sounds unusual. 
Yeah, hey, Mori, if people want a Mad Mori variant, uh, should they just contact you on, uh, like, Twitter? Uh, send you a DM or hop on your Discord or something? You know, if you want to... Oh, no, we should totally link your Twitter. Twitch or something here. I think I le linked your uh, Twitter up above, but we can totally drop your Twitch here. Make sure I got the right URL for it. Yep. Oh, you're not even hosting anybody right now? Bro. Bro. You're not even hosting anybody. You should be hosting... Like, you should have your auto-host set up and you should be like, Bruh, I'm auto-hosting the world. It's like auto-host salty bed or something. It's always something there. No, actually, don't auto-host salty bed. That would be a bad idea. Because there's always something there. <laughs> Your own stream. You, who would need your own stream? They just go to Salty Bet. But uh, yeah, you can go check out uh, Mad Mori with that uh, Twitch URL right there that I have conveniently placed into chat. I don't know why I'm sitting over here. I'm like over here pointing at my monitors over there. Like you can possibly see them. But there's no way you can see them. I guess I could like take this down, but then you would just like, I don't know that it would be a good visual. But, uh, yeah. Glad that I could, uh, hook you two up so that you can get that Mad Mori pizza connection established. And for anybody else that wants one, talk to Mori. I'm not in charge of this stuff. He just very kindly sent me one. For which I am very appreciative. And! And! Best part! He scribbled on it! Ah! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to ship this off to CGC and be like, Oh, Mad Mori sent this to me! Please, give me a green label. What was the price? Six years. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to... have to, like... I'm just going to have to drive to Mori's place. Get, get like, once he already has graded. He's got, like, a... He's got a 9 point. He's probably got, like, a 9.9 .9 that he hasn't showed anybody. Like, this is my secret pride. I should never show anybody this comic book. Am I right, Mori? Am I right? Uh, it's a... Uh, it certainly appears to be a very personal pizza. After all the... No, I'm not going to repeat that joke. I already made that joke one time. It's because Brian's here, and that's his favorite movie. like six of those that's a lot of pizza although I guess like six personal pans would be like one medium or something okay so it's your second favorite movie or is it the one uh, starring Trent's mom I don't remember well, I shouldn't have said that I'm getting banned off YouTube you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a stream here we've been going for like almost 45 minutes I think that's enough if I keep talking I'm gonna get uh, increasingly uh, off color and probably just start insulting people for no reason other than to provoke them to a response because I know Nihilus was stream sniping and I'm trying to get a rise out of him because he's been quiet for a little bit. That's not nice. That's not nice of me. I like to be a nice guy. Uh, let's see. El Crudo Dude, I liked your comic book. I saw your comments and your tweets and stuff. That's awesome. Hopefully you get some more traction, because I think that book is worth other people looking at. And it's super cool that you got that uh, issue up uh, that you can just check out. You know what, let me uh, flip over to show my monitor, and I'll just bring that up here and drop it in uh, the chat while I'm at it. Drop that link in the chat so people can go check it out. And let me show right monitor. There we go. You can totally check this out. First issue is just up here to read. And after the beginning part, which is a lot of setup, once the dude drops in, and you see how ridiculous this comic book is just looking at the cover, uh, the little action sequence that follows is pretty darn awesome. I got no complaints about that. Well, I'm at it here. The, uh, ragzombie.com. Let me pull that up just so we can that and I'll drop the link in the chat all I gotta say oh you'll get me hey you don't have to man uh, but uh, DM me on Twitter 
if uh, you want to talk about that, and we can we can make the necessary arrangements. And uh, let's show ragzombie.com. Although, dude, I gotta tell you, man, I don't really like your website. I can never find anything when I'm looking around this thing. Page 13 is uploaded. Indeed. And so you can also check out rags right here. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad there's some censorship there so I didn't get in trouble with the gods. It's a uh, great comic, great art, fantastic writing. Uh, probably the only complaints I have about the book is the fact that, you know, it's not, the first seven issues are not done yet, and we're probably never getting another issue after that, you know? It's just going to be Ryan trolling all of us for forever, like to the end of time. Because that's the kind of person he is. He's very thoughtful that way. Eating overhaul. Hey, uh, didn't you like message a guy on, or a guy message you about uh, doing an overhaul? And there was uh, like some complication or something. Like, it was like, I can't actually do the work. Like, why would you reach out when you can't do the work? That doesn't make any sense to me. Trolling. Yeah, that, that website could use some work. I guess I should have showed the Patreon, but I'm afraid of finding something not safe on the Patreon. There's the story. I just want you to say that on stream. It'll be recorded forever in my chat. But people decades from now, they're like archiving the history of the Rags comic book. The comic book that will change the world. The comic book from which none shall escape. You know, they can be like, ah, yeah, this was the moment. This was the moment, the crucial moment when we learned about the website, why it wasn't redesigned. And this spiraled out of control and created all this cool, crazy stuff that happens for the rest of history. Something like that. I would totally do a face reveal, but I don't want to actually mount the camera back up where I have it mounted here. Not that I haven't shown my face on stream. Plus, I don't know if my hair's done. Like, it's been a long day. I'm wore out. I'm wore out, and I probably got to go stream on Twitch some later, too, because it's Fear-tober over there. Anyway, thank all of you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, if you don't know any of the people whose stuff I've linked in the chat, go check them all out because it's either somebody cool or something cool, or in some cases, it's both at the same time. Drunk dude is an Italian weekend and a publish. Hey man, I you know Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure was just on TV the other day and I watched it. If those two guys can time travel with George Carlin and change the future of the world, you can get a comic book. That's all I'm saying, dude. That is all I'm saying. So, I am totes gonna bounce now. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Uh, like notifications, hit that bell, but just be warned, I'm very spammy. You may not want to do that. Thank you. Thank you for the nice uh, comic book day haul. It is a pretty nice comic book day haul. This is a big one. This is like 40 bucks worth of books. Uh, mainly because that... Stupid punchline covers 10 bucks on its own. Ugh. All right, you all take care of yourselves, and uh, I sure hope I'll see you next time. Till then, bye bye. Face church music it's happening always.